Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some exciting midweek melee. We're at the end of the week. I'm losing my mind out here. Don't worry about that. We got two great teams here. Georgia Tech, undefeated. What a monster. All of these players are so strong. They all bring something so unique, so incredible. And we got William and Mary, who have been doing really well so far. Have a majority wins, so really good record as well. But Georgia Tech is just such a monster. I'm Bunny. I'm here with Basics. How's it going? Welcome, everybody. We've got some good games ahead of us right now. I'm excited to see you go down. We've got a lot of pretty unique matchups going on, too which is going to be pretty fun to watch. A couple of birds. Yeah, a, birds a lot of birds. Stacked. You're a bird player, right? I am a bird player. You got to tell people that. They're going to think <laughs> bad about me now. No, oh, no, not everyone. A bird, no. Everyone loves the bird. Maybe not on that <laughs> play, but... Uh, you, you know how it is. Oh, I know. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm interested to see how William and Mary takes us, though. They're, it's going to be definitely, like you said, an uphill battle, but it doesn't seem un... You know... It doesn't seem impossible for them to pull off. Mm -hmm. For sure. We're starting off with Will Smith on Fox versus Ooh. Nuke Llama on Falco. Fox Falco, classic. What do you think of Nuke Llama, just the name? Do you think that's like a Dalai Llama? Or do you think that is like a Nuke and a Llama? I don't know, dude. That's a loaded question. <laughs> that I honestly thought it was one word at first. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Is he going to get it right here? Oh my Smash to no. the face, but Will Smith fighting back. I am legend, staying alive. Falco already playing a little bit on the edge, making me very nervous. One gimp is that's a that's a stock already gone. Especially on Yoshi's where the ceiling and the floor is so oh low. Oh my god. Yeah, Ooh. New Plum is wild right now. Oh, oh that down first. smash must have been a missed input. Mm. Getting some shine strings though. I like the nair coverage. It was a good idea. Yeah, a lot of edge guard opportunities for everyone. They're just going Ooh, back and forth. Off the top. Finally. Will Smith with the confirm, up smash making it very easy, no edge shenanigans there. Lots of clean play though. It didn't exactly seem like there were too many, you know, scenarios where the Falco maybe could have done better. Right. Definitely making good use of all of the opportunities given in front of them though. Will Smith is finding uh, some good opportunities, but Nuke Llama with these lasers are shutting down Will mm -hmm. Smith really well, getting him right before the jump. Oh, up smash puts him on platform. Gets out of the situation though, good. Ooh, big backers. Shine out of shield, gonna relieve some of that pressure for now. I'm noticing a pattern a lot with Falco right now. All of his approaches are falling down with down air, and I think that Will Smith may be catching onto it. Oh no, the Shy Guy's making him stay up in the air a little bit longer than he wanted to, it looks like. <laughs> Disrespect Shine. Is that gonna kill? Oh no, oh, no. he didn't press the right trigger. I thought Randall was going to mess that up too, but uh, Will, Smith, Will Smith able to come back. Getting poked by all of these drill shines. He's going to have to clean up this very fast if he wants to make this stock count. Just going, going to ledge. ledge over and over. Yeah, oh, no can't seem to cover it, but the he's going to be able to finish up there. poking through platform. DI yeah. mix-up was not ready for it whatsoever. It goes directly to the right side of the stage. Nuke Llama really commits in some of these follow-ups. Mm hmm For sure. Sometimes when you're down as Falco, that's all you gotta do. Find your opportunities and take them. Oh, no, it goes to the right, but Will Smith second to the left and is I'm able to... Missing his tech chase a little bit. <laughs> Putting on the damage, away. though, I do enjoy kind of his game plan right now, which is not going for that early kill, but racking up that damage. It feels like Will Smith has not been able to cover a single side beat from Nuke Mama. Mm hmm Oh, what was well, that? Likewise, though, it doesn't seem that New Klama is able to actually cover any of the recoveries that Will Smith is doing either. Mm -hmm. Just kind of been extending. Oh, that could have been a tech, unfortunate. Yeah. Gets him with the deep shine. Ooh, the forward oh. air. Oh, no. New Klama going a little crazy and <laughs> ending the stock when it Just really didn't no. need to go. You got your friends back there. Those are their stocks, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Some... New Klama was going for a lot of like up throw setups. How does that mm -hmm. even work? Because I've been so confused about that grab. It's it's a lot of mix up essentially. You're you're going to try and confuse their DI because after an up air or an up throw, I apologize. Your options are pretty much limited to either if they tech or if they DI inwards and they stay stationary in the air, you have to follow them with an aerial. Um, but if they go away from it and DI outwards and away from you, then you're kind of limited to just wave dashing forward and then trying to catch their double jump. Mm -hmm. The lasers, of course, being able to be SDI'd and DI'd, so making it 
kind of hard to get a true follow up on like foxes where the lasers just do damage. So you gotta just follow up for free. Falco knowledge is good because it looks like William and Mary is sending in NASA here. More Falco Fox matchup. Bird brain. Your bird brain is good. <laughs> do well here. Yeah. There's a lot of. It, it's unfortunate that you know there are a lot of Falcos that kind of just do. The generic, I'm going to dare you, I'm going to shine you, I'm going to try and get your forward smash. There is a lot of nuance because as as you can tell, I'm sure, I, I believe you said you were a Marth player? Yes. You can you can gimp Falcos so easily for days if they're not paying attention. Mm-hmm. They may as well be a low tier if they're not playing their A game. Yeah, exactly. If I know that a uh, bird has nothing else on their mind but just going in, you know, I can mm-hmm. take a quick step back, get a grab near the ledge, and it can be over so fast. Exactly. Will Smith so. is a very strong player, and we're going to see if uh, these edge guards are going to start to come together against these other birds. It looks like we're going to have another Falco coming in, and we're going to be headed towards Pokemon, it's looking like. I like Pokemon for Falco. I like Especially Frozen. Frozen. Yeah, I was going to say Frozen Stadium for, for sure, but Glass Stadium. Now that's a meta. I love Ooh. that it got implemented. I think it looks so sick. I've never played on it. Uh, I've never seen this before. Yeah, oh, goodness. yeah. It's kind of messing with my eyes a little bit. <laughs> it's cool, though. It's, it's another Hax's nightclub special. It, um, yeah, I've, I feel like it is a little bit disorienting. A little the first bit. first time you play on it. Like, you can't really see how far off the ground you are. Mm-hmm. But I think for me, just because I haven't seen it before, I'm, like, seeing the green and thinking that the floor is closer than it actually is. Mm-hmm. I'm already kind of liking what I'm seeing from this bird. Falco is already doing some edge cancel shenanigans. I'm wondering if he knows about the side B cancels on platform. Probably does. Going for a side B cancel on the ledge now. Is that a, like a recovery option or more of just getting across the stage fast? It allows you to get across the stage fast, but it also allows you to, you know, if your reaction time isn't on point, it's really hard to react to because you can either fall off a platform and then, you know, immediately approach afterwards, or you can do the side B cancel, and now you're immediately behind them with either a back air, you're jumping and baiting an option. Um, it is a little gimmicky. There are a lot of, like, ways that you can just prepare for it. Like, if you know that you're doing it, it's a 50-50 option. And if you don't get the 50-50, then you're pretty much, you know, you're not going to be in too bad of a position anyway. Right. I think many non-birds tend to, you know, forget that Falco is... Uh, it could be really movement heavy. Just mm-hmm. thinking of it as just like a, a laser gun that can walk around. For sure. <laughs> but there's a lot that can happen there. So we're going to be starting two at stocks. And yeah, 45. Right forth. Oh. No. NASA's laser is possibly uh, <laughs> upset Will Smith there. Preemptive, yeah. <laughs> preemptive lasers? Is that what we're seeing? Will Smith with the bra in the crew battle chat. Uh, oh. <laughs> He's salty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all right. He's saying 46. I'm assuming that we were in an agreement to start at 45 and we had a laser shot out right before that. Shots fired. That's just some disrespect. You gotta. <laughs> you know what? I respect it, though. No. I respect it. Will Smith, he may be up, but he's keeping the integrity in the game. If, if I was a Falco, though, and I'm doing this neutral start, I wouldn't even shoot a laser until like a few seconds in just to make sure. Oh, no way. I, I, I'm not going to say too much, but I think, you know, round start laser is not exactly a great option. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, this is why I'm not a bird, though. Mm-hmm. I don't have that bird mentality. Well, that's the unfortunate thing about lasers. You don't get a lot of momentum after it. So you're kind of stuck in that short hop animation while you're firing the laser forward. Which is why a lot of people do wave dashes right afterwards as they're landing. All right. Getting started at 50 now. No, uh, okay. no early lasers from NASA. Already a lot more aggression from the last matchup in comparison. Wow, Will Smith double jumps so much. Fall hop on Fox is really good. Mm-hmm. Spacey's with fall hop in air is very, very good. Plenty yeah, of top players like making a career out of it lately. He's looking for the full hop uh, opening, but when he can't find it, he just double jumps away. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering if NASA's gonna start noticing that sooner or later. Maybe get something off of it. Ooh, oh, big time here off the platform. Got some openings off of that up throw. Mm-hmm. Taking 63%. That's a lot. That's a that's a kill if he gets a nice setup. 
Oh, oh no. no! The edge cancelled, but that's not what you need there. Yeah... We saw, we saw NASA practicing those, I don't think that's what he was practicing for. No. So oh, missed the tech, gets the shine. A lot of dancing around the platform. Oh my god, so much, so much neutral being played. Getting in there, offstage scenario, goes to ledge. Well, Smith really likes the ledge, always going to those sweet spots. He's making it very, very tricky. He's getting exact angles that he needs to land on ledge. Will Smith is missing like four crabs. Landing here. on platform a lot of the times in order to get that other option when he needs it. <laughs> oh, these guys are avoiding everything. Oh yeah. Will Smith. They don't want any shield. percent they don't want to play. No. Which is smart for Will Smith, of course, you know, preserving any additional stocks that he can get. Missing that back air. Just for another shield grab. The second one isn't gonna work. Uh, this is so spaghetti. Shield. Oh, I can feel the nerves. Oh, he doesn't get the sweet spot on the back air. He makes it to ledge, though. again, another safe recovery. This is so interesting. Feels like for a whole minute, you've just been in a standstill. Oh, up air? Is that going to be it? Oh, my goodness. Good kill off the top. You don't see that a lot on Tech in a very, very good position right now. Oh, missing oh. the sweet spot for ledge. Unexpected. Eh. That hurts. <laughs> Nass is definitely feeling good about that now. Oh, Will Smith's angry. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Oh man, I lost my stock. Gotta yeah, get rid of this grime. bird. The grime plus the stock that shouldn't have been lost. Will Smith is definitely feeling something and wants to bring this to a three, even four stock lead here. Ooh. He gets it. He gets it. I didn't think he would get that. I thought that was very optimistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, NASA really wants to finish this off, but Will Smith is looking real strong. Just waiting there, so patient. Yeah, Will Smith is just waiting for him to throw out something that's not safe so he can punish it. Which yeah, honestly, NASA. I respect mm -hmm. it. You know, keep your opponent honest. If you feel if you think they're not gonna, you know, go for their option and get it to the best of their ability, that's a that's a free opportunity for you in response. Right. Really Ooh, risky. Lots of running shines. NASA. And yeah, Will Smith is just able to run over him. On the back plat, airs back him off stage. Oh, wait for the up grab, okay. Up smash. And the oh no, bird's gone. That was enough. I wasn't even looking at the percent, but Will Smith kept racking it up over time. <laughs> all those little hits. Yeah, that was that was prime example of Fox taking his percent when he needs it and not doing anything else whenever he doesn't need to. Taking no risk and saving those stocks for the people in back. Woof. That was a lot. <laughs> Yeah, Will Smith was looking patient towards the end, staying a lot more on the ground instead of those full hop, double hop scenarios, and was able to find so many openings. If I'm William and Mary, I think I'm saving my last bird for another matchup. Yeah, possibly. It's a tough decision because no matter who you put in here, you know, Georgia Tech is going to have a lot of leeway with how they mm -hmm. want to counterpick it. I'm imagining Sheik could be a good possibility because you'll have a just a really good matchup spread overall. I'm thinking Sheik might be the best play here because it's only one stock that you have to take. And it's also a very large matchup adjustment that you need to make on the fly. Yes. Yeah, and Sheik. Sheik is a master of consistency, I like to think. Uh, Absolutely. Really straightforward, neutral game, something that can mm -hmm. be applied to a lot of different scenarios. I always think that Sheik is like a very accuracy-based character, I feel, as well. There's a mm -hmm. very... Very specific options that you go for in very specific scenarios, I feel. Yeah. Making sure that you get those at the, the moments that you need to and not you know, leaving yourself vulnerable to those more conventional options that your opponent might have instead. It is a very Mewtwo King-esque character, but William & Mary is going to make what I think is a bit of a strange decision and sending in Bard, third Falco oh, the in third a row. third bird. <laughs> no. Forgetting all bird games. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know. Personally, I think saving the Falco towards the end is a good play. Making sure that you have, especially as, as a neutral tool, having lasers in the back, if you're only cleaning up an, an extra couple of stocks, being able to have those, you know, those sources of hit stun at your display is very, very crucial, I think. I gotta say, Will Smith is looking like a fox in the hen hound. Oh, just eating up <laughs> all these birds. That was clever, right? Yeah. 
I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. You gotta be resourceful sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'll let that one land. <laughs> I appreciate it. We're going to dreamland here. So going lots to of space. Dreamland. Hmm. Well, he won't be dying off the top. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> right, right. But if Will Smith is gonna... Are we warming up on it? Yeah, just a warm up. Okay. If Will Smith is gonna be playing anything like the last game, I'm s I, I may be one to believe that the space might actually work against uh, Bard in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Having all that extra space might just make it all the more easy to get that that really early percent with lasers and retreating bears. There in place, the stuff options. Right. It's a lot it's a lot of space to use. With one stock, there's only so much Will Smith can do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, every stock is just gonna feel like so much more of a weight on William and Mary's shoulder. Uh, Bard's gonna have to play done. very carefully. I think the yeah. moment that he loses any stocks is gonna be a severe loss in his in against his favor. Mm -hmm. All right, here we are. Smith taking three stops. Georgia Tech's first character here. Such a strong team. And Will Smith is getting half the job done just on his own. I always think it's so funny. Just a, just a little sidebar. Whenever you see local people playing with each other, they have the same characters. None of these birds have been the same palette so far. We have no arguments at William and Mary College on mm -hmm. Hoof Salco. Yeah. yeah. It looks like we're getting a little bit of the same though from from Will Smith, just waiting for unsafe shield pressure and kind of punishing that. Shines, up smashes, backer that time. Oh goodness. Will Smith likes those F tilts near the ledge. He's playing it smart. He's not taking any unnecessary percent. He's just trying to get an offstage scenario. Oh my mm. goodness. That might be it. Yeah, that's a stock. That's Oof. a great one. Oh, that was like surgical. Like. Like oh no! Apart. Such an unfortunate stock there! Oh no, Bard. This lead is looking really, really nasty now. Will Smith passed the halfway point. And is looking for more. Not able to get the... Yeah, Will Smith is in their head <laughs> at this point. Not able to get the gimp just yet. He's being an apex predator right now. He's in the minds of their opponent. I like the idea. I like the idea for the, for the weak bear. It doesn't quite connect it to another area afterwards. Yeah. Bard oh, something. oh the my goodness, smash. he hugs the floor and gets the ledge afterwards. Mm. Oh, Will Smith runs right up, then jumps with the down. So, so <laughs> much Fox pressure. Insane. Did you get it? Ooh. Ooh, it's like soft really landing. <laughs> oh no, he gets burned. You gotta get those. I loved the option, but it just didn't clean up the way he wanted to. Oh no, why did you just hold ledge? Well, Smith makes really good use of shield. I feel like I see a lot of shield from him. Sometimes hard not to against There we go. That's With it. two Will stocks Smith. remaining, <laughs> the demon is dead. Will now Smith we just have to see gone. if there's any more waiting behind him. Mm hmm. Georgia Tech Smith has is taking so many stocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodness gracious. But Georgia Tech has a lot of ammunition. They can really send out anyone here, and William and Mary will have to be on their toes. Absolutely. Against the Falco, maybe the Marth will come out. Uh, this might be the best matchup out of the remaining characters from William and Mary. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing either the Marth or maybe the Link. If he can get sent to Yoshi's, I think the the link might not honestly not be so such a bad idea. Don't the lasers contest the bombs and the boomerangs pretty hard? Yes, but you also have to remember that Link's shield blocks lasers. Oh, that's a mechanic I don't see a lot. When when you're in your wave dash, as soon as you exit the crouching animation for the slide, uh, you're put back into your idle position, which means that your shield is active. So if your Falco is just being, you know, super lame, you can just stand 
crouch, whatever, you know, idly, and just make sure you're not taking extra, any extra percent that you don't need to. You're right. However, you are correct. Um, lasers will interact with bombs. Well, we're going to see how this works out because Bravo is coming in now. I have the biggest brain. Your your reads today. I am on top of it. Yeah. (laughs) I'm so excited for this. I love Link gameplay. Link is like the low tier that I wish I was good with. Bravo is quite the treat. Such a well-rounded Link. This is going to be a treat for sure. I'm very excited. Do we know what stage we're headed to? Fans still rolling in. I would say that Yoshi's is the best decision for Link. But knowing Mm -hmm. that, I'm wondering if Bard is going to respond by banning it. No, there's going to be a ban for Dreamland there. Really? Yeah, which is the exact opposite. Probably what a Link wants. Yeah. I would say being able to space out Link is probably the best decision. With such little aerial mobility and a, not a lot of movement speed, basically combo food weight, mm-hmm. being able to close that space really fast is probably going to do the best that he can in the situation. I think people think of Link Young Link and they think of Armada against Jigglypuff, but mm-hmm. it's not like all uh, all these characters can do is just run away and bomb. Yeah, they have a lot of. It's not just your troop options. game. It's not just you know the floaty killer matchup for you know your pocket. There's a lot mm-hmm. of nuance to it. There's, I mean, just look at Aklo. Most recently, the, the a top 100 Fox player mm-hmm. now you know using a link as a secondary for matchups. I don't think anyone could have seen that going. Going to battlefield. Okay. Again, a, a very similar, I think, to the Yoshi's decision. Or using those platforms and the ability to close space very quickly is going to do a lot of good for the Link in this decision. Bard with the Bard boomerangs. <laughs> or Bra- I'm sorry, Bravo with the Bravo boomerangs. I'm mixing up people's names. Oh wow. Bard playing this very start. Using the lasers, making sure he's not getting any momentum, staying in the shield for, you know, unsafe shield options like dash attack. Bravo's dash attack is so huge. Oh yeah. Link has a really nice dash attack. Oh, the Ooh, second I like the option. Yeah. <laughs> Taking that stock. Ooh, that side side cancel. Oh, I wonder oh, if Bravo was trying to go for... Maybe going for tech chase there. But I don't know if that was the best there. punish, yeah. Oh! That was he gets the tech chase. Oh, he burns him! I able to get the Nair out in time. Oh, but he doesn't tether. That's a stock, though. Yeah, good stuff for Bart. A very high percent. Maybe one bomb into an offstage scenario is going to be it. He tries to lock him out of his movement with Jab before hitting him. Oh, he lands on platform. You can see the gears turning in Bard's head, like on what he wants to do option-wise. Cleans it up. They're just not landing the way he wants them to. Yeah, I can see why Battlefield was powerful. I feel like the Falco had a lot of trouble recovering and was Mm -hmm. running into all those boomerangs and the uppies. And the other thing to, to keep in mind is that a lot of the other stages that we have on our legal stage list have walls next to their ledges. Battlefield does mm-hmm. not. So if you're going to try and you know avoid up B off of the ledge, it's almost impossible. You have to either sweet spot the ledge or go high, especially if you're low. If you're covering low and you have to you know make sure that you're specifically sweet spotting that ledge to not get hit by up B, that's a very, very tight window. Mm-hmm. Bard getting that one stock, though, is going to be crucial, I think. Any any leverage that they can get against uh, Georgia Tech is going to do them a lot of good. They're going to need a lot more. There's a very, very long battle ahead for William and Mary to even, even it out at this point. They're sending in two. The Sheik Link matchup seems really good on paper, but Links are going to be prepared <laughs> for that. Uh, what a lovely community. I just saw in chat, I heard two brushes their teeth twice a day. (laughs) What a legend. 
that's a role model right there. What more can you ask for, honestly? Mm -hmm. To be a load seer, though, you have to you have to learn to play Sheik because you're going to come across it so many times. I cannot say I have ever seen this matchup played ever, and it might be for a good reason. I think we're I about to mind. see if this is really uh, stacked or not in the mm -hmm. Sheik's favor. I'm sure the grabs will lead to so much. I may have mm -hmm. seen Bravo play against a Sheik earlier in the circuit. And I think Bravo has the tools necessary. If Q isn't prepared, you don't play a Link every day. The other thing to keep in mind is Link's recovery is not exactly the best. He has the extra option with Tether, but I think that Needles offstage are going to stuff a lot of the recovery options that Bravo is going to have at his disposal. Someone in chat is saying the matchup may be even, but two will make it look 70-30. That <laughs> is the opposite of what is probably going to happen. I think but it's the opposite of the matchup in general. I, I highly doubt if someone's going to have to convince me otherwise that Sheik Link is 50 <laughs> <even. laughs> Sheik has a canonical advantage. That's true. The, the key to Link's heart. If this is Ocarina of Time Link, this is technically still Baby Brain. That, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I, I never thought of it like that. It looks um, like we're going Battlefield. Odd decision. I like it, again, I like it for Sheik, but considering that we just saw Bravo want to go Battlefield, I think is an interesting option to go back. Ooh, two not returning the taunt. Mmm. Dicey. That's an interesting interaction. That was a Needles time. canceling the movement of Boomerang. I didn't know that would happen. Ooh, there's that wonky frame on the Nair. Link's Nair actually having a weird bug with it where it will stay out as an active hitbox longer than the animation actually lasts until it returns oh. back to its regular idle animation. <clears throat> I've seen that before. That's so fast too. Frame three. I like what he's doing. He's trying to whittle down the shield and using those very shield poke uh moves like down tilt and down smash that come out really fast. He's trying to get a quick pop up or a kill. I see two has gotten these grab opportunities, but not able to make anything of it. Mm -hmm. uh, Bravo just diing away, and two can't follow up too strongly. Boomerang's in his face. No fear. Dash attack, doesn't kill. Oh, Ooh, that one hit at F smash. I didn't think that was a strong hit. I thought you had to do the second. Um, I believe they're both technically a strong hit, but the way that it works is that the tipper, I think, only comes out on the second one. Okay. Let's see that a pretty high percent. Ooh, gets him in the other direction. I think he was not ready to DI that in that direction. It's definitely the mix up. The link up B is so scary on the edge. Two got up really oh, early. Oh, he charges it. Tech read. Oh, the reverse fail. Reverse hitbox. That's oh interesting. Goodness. I thought the down air could have done it, but I wouldn't know. Bravo knows what's going on. And that was really interesting. I'm intimidated. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, two might be feeling it also. Oh, there's those needles. Great conversion. Sneaking Talking about those earlier. Edge. Stuffing that recovery of Bravo. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Needle's going through every everything thrown out on the screen. Oh, double Nair. So much damage. Nair is so great. It sends, you know, Cheek so, so close. He, he, he rolls he behind him though, so he doesn't get hit by the boomerang. Interesting. Yeah, Sheik's, Sheik's options here seem to... How does he keep finding these? Yeah, I don't know if she could have DI'd away to avoid the up Crash cancel, down smash. I was scared. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was, that was really, gonna be it. Really risky, but... Oh, he gets hit by the hitbox though on, on up beat. Oh, oh he wait, rolls. He yeah. I didn't think Bravo get those. would be able to get up on stage that quick. That was very surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as you go up on the tether, you're pretty much off uh, 
Off of the air vulnerability frames, you're right back on ledge. You do any options after that. I'm covering oh. this tech so well. Not an edge guard though. Lovely shield pressure. I like that a lot. Okay, two able to take another stock, but Bravo, you know, has a huge percent lead here. It and seems already like as is. as the matchup goes on, two is starting to find a, a couple more options to kind of throw out and make it a little more difficult for Bravo. He's starting to finish his food a lot more often. Is that kill? Oh my goodness! Up air off the top platform. Bravo making this look like a mid tier. Mhm. Mm you you insane. think Link is a low tier? Oh oh goodness. <laughs> uh oh goodness. Is Chat gonna yell at me? <laughs> Am I gonna get some some nasty emails from Georgia Tech now? I don't know. There's a lot of two fans, so they may. There are a lot of out. two fans. Mm -hmm. Sheik is a character that I don't. I'm waiting for the Sheik meta to kind of just evolve into something crazy and nutty, like we, we like we've seen previously with like Fox and Falco and Marth recently with like pivots just being everywhere. Well, get ready for it. Every top player has a Sheik now because mm -hmm. they are sick of Zane and they want to <laughs> win. <laughs> Everyone wants to be to be laughing and just have a really good character with a with a Sheik pocket. Mm -hmm. I think it is a little bit ridiculous. We saw at uh, some even fairly recent tournaments that Zane can bleed. There's no reason that everyone. Oh yeah, he's definitely their, human. Their but I know that Cody's had it, and a bunch of other people. IBDW and Mango looking pretty much like the only spaces lately that are kind of putting a dent in Zane. But I, I think that's also because Zane's playstyle kind of just goes really, really hard. I think you really just have to have that playstyle experience against it to kind of know where the cracks are. Speaking of Marth's Tashi coming in here, gonna get sword v sword. Mm -hmm. I'm praying that Takashi can clean this up really fast. So far, we've only seen Will Smith and Bravo, which is. I mean, a testament to how good the players are, but I want yeah, to see broken. I want to see William Mary put on a good show as well. Yeah, yeah. I do want to see the rest of Georgia Tech. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Especially using Gosh. forward air and the spacing that it provides to kind of get rid of bombs. I think that's a good idea. I feel like Takashi needs to stay on the ground in the air. Bravo's going to get so much utility. Mm -hmm. Staying grounded. Link's ground game not exactly the best. A lot of punishable options while on ground. It's a very slow character in terms of running speed. Ooh. That's a Gets grab. Gets the grab, what does he do with it? Oh, Ooh. he just goes for the read. He yeah, goes for something crazy, but he can't just finish it up. Up tilt, yeah. sends him off stage. Ooh, is that jab or an F tilt? That almost set up for the grab. I think it was an F-Tilt. Oh my goodness. Out of shield. Brock. <laughs> Bravo able to take those risks though. There's a lot of, you know, lead that his school has put on the table for him to use. I don't know what that was. Never mind. Sorry, Oh Bravo. no. <laughs> Commentator's <laughs> curse. Oh my god, I put you on a pedestal and you just fell off the stage. Links get battlefielded too. You know, it's a problem for everybody. Uh, nobody's immune. Everyone gets caught eventually. So, nine stock lead here. Uh, Georgia Tech can really send in anybody. Takashi could be a very strong player, but you're dealing with Georgia Tech here. And I think if what you're teams. talking about is if what you're talking about is true, I think we're seeing she come in. I think we're seeing Austin Tayshus come in, mm, nice. which is a great tag, by the way. Goodness, that's a that is a great tag. Oh yeah, great tag, great guy. I was playing doubles with him last. Oh week, really? And he's a he's a big memer, but a really strong player, really great person, and he'll be commentating the next. Uh, the next match, I think the one Ooh. after that might be cancelled. Look forward to that. Yeah. But before we get there, we gotta see if William and Mary is gonna keep us here a little longer. We've got, we got Takashi with three stocks. Marth can, Marth can put in work. Oh. I think if Marth can get past Sheik, then this isn't as uphill as it normally would. The matchups are still pretty doable. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I always feel very annoyed when I'm facing sheiks just because I feel like they can get a grab and then make my life miserable mm-hmm. with two or three moves. For just sure. Like 40%. Sheik's definitely my worst matchup, <laughs> even as Falco. It's it's true for a lot of people. It's a really big it's hump. Odd. To... I feel like Sheik is one of the least played top tiers that there kind of are. Like there's not as many top Sheiks just in general. Even go on like random unranked net play. Not too many Sheiks that you run into. Mm-hmm. Sheik and like Peach, I would say. Very, very good characters. You don't see too many of them. I have a I have a mini theory there where those characters can rely on, you know, like a few basic habits to get mm-hmm. to kind of a middle player level. But you need to start, you know, really developing a lot more of your game if you want to burst into the top 100. So that could be part of it. I'd say that's a sound theory. It's something. I could work on it. <laughs> I like Peach. Uh, I try to actively not down smash, because I feel like that will really limit you. Yeah. Down smash is a really good move, especially in like tech chase scenarios. It has a lot of width on that hitbox that not a lot of people utilize, I feel. Mm-hmm. A lot of people just use it when you're like really close up. Kind of as a counter option. I see waiting for game. Do we have a stage? It looks like we're Crokin. okay. We're going to see Crokin on Battlefield. Yeah, that's interesting. What someone, someone in the chat wanted to see it, and you're going to get it. We're making the people happy today. <laughs> Crokin makes dreams come true. <laughs> I'm interested to see Falco though, especially mm-hmm. against Marth. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I like I like seeing, especially in crew battles, Falco's kind of being sent in last to kind of do cleanup duty. Just because those lasers kind of... They have that that spice that just makes people nervous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Laser does like 2 or 3%, but you're, you really don't want to take that percent for some reason. It's in your head. It's like a mental mm-hmm. block. I definitely know the lasers can leave me flustered if I'm not in the right headspace. So, in the crew battle meta, that could be pretty important. Mm-hmm, for sure. Oh. A little warm up here. To this day, I still don't know how to do that shield thing. What do you mean? You see what Crokin's doing? He's like toggling between hard shield and full light shield. Oh. It's just kooky looking. I've ignored light shield as a concept. What? I love light shielding. <laughs> oh my goodness. I light shield all the time. Light shield is like my one of my favorite concepts that Melee has. I don't know. I was thinking of just like getting rid of the spring in my trigger, just so it was always <laughs> shield. They actually sell little like silicone trigger plugs you can put inside the button, and it makes the contact point a little bit shorter. No, oh, wow. might want to look into that. They're pretty nice. I actually I came originally from um from Project M, <laughs> and in that game you there's because it's a brawl engine there's zero light shielding, and it's okay. so weird. <laughs> All right, we're getting right back into it. Whoa. Ooh, maybe a quick stock here. Oh, I'm excited. I think we got a game. Kashi is making a lot, of, a lot of mileage off of that, that one flub. Mm-hmm. Keep yeah, it sends Crokin back to mid stage. And we're going to see a bit of a return Lots here. Shines. I can set it for a big down air. No, but just back oh, to Wave Dash is back on the approach. Do we see the Takeshi carry? Ooh, he gets the Ops attack, but he doesn't roll with it, so it's right off stage. Yeah, Takeshi was making good work of covering a lot of the platform options, but Kroken mm-hmm. only needs an F-Smash into the ledge. Right now we're at that, that painfully annoying Marth percent, where none of your moves are actually going to combo pretty easily. Yeah, the Marth Ritus is really strong. That's going to be a stock as Crokin gets sent off really Thankfully, far Thankfully, right. Falco having a very short recovery and not getting killed off the side, but still dying off. <laughs> so now we're back at... Oh, well, lots of lasers. Crokin realizing that he probably shouldn't play around anymore. We're dressing up the follow-up. Crokin just can't quite grab him. Crokin with an opening here again on the ledge. 
but isn't able Forward to Forward smash for the edge guard. Interesting option. I like the falling up bears on Marth. Oh, he knows! Yeah, also Takeshi's back airs, I think, are very interesting. Not a move mm -hmm. you see a whole lot, and using it very intentionally to cover those options without having yeah, to turn around. Yeah, he's back airing out of shield a lot, kind of to cover, like, a short hop option. Ooh, doesn't kill for pop. Really up in the air. I thought something would have happened. Mm -hmm. I was expecting maybe a shine or an up air, see if he can kill off the top. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's a Big dead swordsman. <laughs> Last yeah. stock of William and Mary. Oh, he gets the forward smash. That's a dead bird. That's over. Okay, croaking on two stocks left. Takashi wants to. If plays this smart, we could see another person come out. Yeah, they're they're still in it. Croaking is very, being them. very hungry right now too. I think he could mm -hmm. definitely take advantage of that. Oh yeah, really holding in. Good power shield. Or just runs right smash. with the raw F smash. Oh, interesting trade there. Oh, Croaking's able to pressure oh, off the platform. That was Smart really killer. bad DI. Oh, a little bit of. Oh. Okay. Unfortunate. Down with the downer. A little bit of spaghetti. I feel like it was coming out towards the yeah. end. Yeah. I think he got sent off run. stage and he just he, it flashed before his eyes. Mm -hmm. He realized yeah. that that was going to be his last stock. Just got a, got way too in his head. A mm -hmm. good show by Takeshi though. Yeah, in my shout opinion, out to the... I think my favorite, my favorite so far, William and Mary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they did really good as a team, and they kept it respectable. Although Georgia Tech, you know, with their uh, all their strong players able to take it with ten stocks remaining. You definitely set me up for, you know, understanding the the lore behind this behemoth of Georgia Tech. I may have <laughs> underestimated them in the beginning. Mm -hmm. yes, we didn't even see uh, half their players. They they got a lot going for them. Oh yeah. And They'll be coming out of this circuit doing pretty well. Uh, too early to say that they'll be winning, but we'll find out. They, we'll yeah, find out. Yeah, I think they still nobody, have, nobody wants to know early. There's no fun in that. They have one or two really, really uh, spicy, you know, potential crew battle matchups that could happen that might be able to turn things around. So we'll see when we get there. We're going to be heading off. So it was really fun commentating with you guys. If you want to hang out with me, uh, follow my Twitch. My accounts. I forgot what my account is. Oh, Jay no. Gruza. I think it's Jay Gruza. It's going to be fun times. Come here with a hot follow. Maybe Make I'll sure drop you in follow chat. me too. I recently rebranded my Twitch. I finally was mm -hmm. able to get the, the weirdo from 2006 that stole basics. So that's B-A-S-S-Y-X-X on Twitch. I got Twitter too. Don underscore Lennon underscore sucks. It's at the top right under my name. Pop a follow if you like us. And that's going to be all for right now. We're going to be signing off. Thanks so much you for guys. tuning in, everybody. Mm -hmm.